But I really do feel like, and the story I mentioned at the end of Trending is genuinely hilarious to me. And it touches on something that we talked about at 6 o'clock yesterday, where, which if you missed this segment, you can go back and listen to it on the Hoffman Show podcast, uh, where we talked about how the WNBA is just its, its own worst enemy. Um, tonight, they will stream uh, on WNBA League Pass, which, by the way, is like $35 for the year. Easy, great investment. Phenomenal. Like, it's stealing. They actually need to up the price. It's, again, their own worst enemy. We don't have the money. Well, quit giving away your product, you clowns. Um, but they, they're they like their own worst enemy, and they've, they're deciding after you know a million people watched a, a Twitter stream of Angel Reese's debut that they're going to actually put the Liberty Sky game on television tonight. But I saw a video over the weekend of Caitlin Clark walking through an airport. I, I guess it was probably DFW in Dallas. Maybe it was Love Field in Dallas. Either way. Um, it, it, I'm guessing that's that's where they were for their first preseason game, but maybe it was uh, when they were getting back to Indianapolis. And, like, she's got her bodyguard with her, but there's people kind of paparazziing it. And, like, the failure to realize that Caitlin Clark is famous enough that she can't really fly, fly public and she can't just be moseying around airports. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, that's where Caitlin Clark is. And it's, they'll never say this. They'll say, oh, we've been working to figure out a way to finance this, whatever, for years. But, like, legit, for years, if you were to go to DCA at the right time or Dulles for the right time, uh, uh, as the Mystics were headed out of town, like, you could have seen Elena Deladon just chilling at the airport. I don't, I, did it ever happen to you? I never actually cross paths with them. You know, you cross paths with, like, college teams all the time. I crossed paths with a couple of WNBA players before Diamond the Shields when she was with the Chicago Sky. She was in the airport. She might have been with her team. I, I knew who she was because she was so well, good. It's it's one thing, like, if, you know, if, if she's flying home on her own, like, you no, know. I think uh, she was with her team. I but, like, it, you might just, like, run into the Chicago sky of the airport. Yep. Like, that's crazy. But also, like, <laughs> now with Clark especially, but, like, I think Angel and, like, there's plenty of other vets that have, are pretty famous. Yep. Like, it it becomes, like, a safety thing. And, you know, look, an airport's one of the safer places you can be. But it, it's it's just like a, hey, do you want your players to be able to go through the airport without getting harassed? Like, if there's a flight delay, is Caitlin Clark going to be stuck signing autographs for two hours at, at the Indianapolis International Airport? Like, it does really feel like one viral video of Caitlin Clark walking through the airport was enough to get the Kathy Engelbart and, and the WNBA brass to the table to be like, yeah, I think we should charter flights for everybody. And people have been calling for this for it. Ever. Forever. You Ever. Got, you got an MVP in AJ Wilson. AJ uh, Wilson, who, you think, who's been like, calling for it. Like, even before her, Diana Taurasi, the Maya Moores, the... Yeah. All these people. Sue, like, on down the list. Um, I mean, this was an issue, uh, on a more serious note, with BG last year. After what, what Brittany Griner went through in Russia, did you want her walking through an airport? So there's that aspect. They're kind of safety, just like these are public figures. Is it good for them to have to deal with the general public unprotected at an airport kind of thing? Because people do go up to public figures and, you know, even if it's nice, it's just like it's a lot. It's a lot to have to be on all the time when you're recognizable on the level. And look, they're very tall women walking through this. Like, it's not like they can hide. And one thing, if it was a soccer team, like all, I love the spirit and think they should also be flying private whenever possible. Um, but like, it's a lot easier for five foot three Croy Bethune or even five foot you know, Trinity Rodman's a star and like screams stardom. But Trin can put on a hoodie and get through an airport. She's, you'd be like, she's kind of tall and athletic looking. But it, like, Asia Wilson can't go anywhere without someone being like, that's Asia Wilson. She's six foot four. Yep. It's actually one of the, like, we joke about it with Alicia. AC is only 5'10. Yeah. And so, like, we can go out with Alicia and people will be like, she's kind of tall and athletic looking. But, like, it's not like if we went out. Oh, true story from Vegas when we were there. Um, and we were out with, um, it was it was AC and uh, Kia Stokes. And AC's 5'10. Kia Stokes is 6'3. 
the second Kia got with us. Do you guys play for the Aces? <laughs> <laughs> like we're at we're we're at a, a casino going to play bingo. Hey, you don't see too many six three, six four, six five women, you know. Do, do, do you guys play for the Aces? <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the six three center that's hanging out here with us? Oh man! So like. It really did feel like Caitlin Clark went through an airport one time and they were like, nope, can't do that again. No. And good. If that's what, this is the thing. Like, if it takes Caitlin's fame to get what the league should have been doing forever done, better late than never. But what the hell took so long? Because the other part of this, quickly, before we get to DA, is there's a performance aspect to this, too. You play a game at 7 o'clock at night, and you want to get to the next city because you have another game two days later, or you want to be able to kind of control your travel to optimize for performance. Because unlike your average business trip, like your body's ability to perform is important, which like mentally, of course, you want to be up for the big meeting if you're a, a sales associate or whatever your job is, a consultant, whatever but your injury risk isn't higher and there's a performance and a, and a player safety element to private travel. That is also like a deeper, longer conversation, but that is why on top of all this other stuff is why. And again, if it took Caitlin better late than never, but seriously, why are y'all always late? Uh, when we get back on the Hoffman show, David Aldridge talking about the wizards coaching search. What's next for the old Zardos. And of course a wild and wacky NBA playoffs. What's up, kiddos? It's your boy Clinton Gates from ESPN. It's the Hoffman Show on the Team 980. Tell your mama I said what's up.